And if we move on to the next fight, we've got Marina Moroz fighting Maria Agapova. You guys already know that I'm very excited for this one because Marina Moroz and Maria Agapova hate each other with uh, with a passion. Because um, Marina Moroz was going on about how Maria Agapova was abusing people, was abusing drugs when she was in her gym. And that's why she got kicked out of so many gyms. Maria Agapova is saying that's not true. And um, yeah, there's a massive beef going on around there. And Marie Agapova in her post-fight interview after beating Sabina Mazo said that she wanted to kill Marina Moroz. Like, the, these two do not like each other. These two hate each other. And um, with that being said, though, it's interesting that Tapology has Maria Agapova lined as an underdog where Best Fight Odds actually has Maria Agapova lined as the favorite. So I'm a little bit interested to see kind of how that that runs. I think they've got kind of around the wrong way. Marina Agapova, I think, is actually the minus 200 favorite. Marina Rose, the plus 175 underdog. Just kind of getting that out there before I start talking about these two fighters. Marina Morose, uh, she's from Ukraine, so my heart does go out to um, to those people over there. And I do hope that we can... Um, I do hope that we can find peace sometime soon. I know that there's talks about that going on. I know that a lot of people in Ukraine are campaigning for that. So I do hope that... Um, everything works out in the end but moving on from that marina morose is the ukrainian uh, boxing champion i think and she's also a master of sports in kickboxing and boxing for ukraine on the other hand maria agapova she's a pretty aggressive striker she kind of tries to knock people out with everything that she does a big blip on her uh, on her record though is that loss to shana dobson um that raises a lot of red flags. I mean, she's only 24 years old, and she's going to be fighting a girl in Marina Morose, which she hates. Is she going to be able to control herself to not try and throw the whole kitchen sink at her in two minutes and potentially get taken down and submitted or just get knocked out even? Um, or, or even just gas herself out in those first few minutes? You've got to kind of consider that. Maria Agapova, she's young. She's 24. Is she mature enough to be able to hold herself back in that cage against someone who she truly truly despises uh, in that first round i am going to say yes i do think maria agapova is going to get the job done i think she's going to get what she wants i think she's going to punch marina morose in the face quite a few times i mean that kind of is what happens in the cage isn't it uh, i'm going to go maria agapova to win the fight marina morose has been out for quite a while she's been withdrawing from a lot of fights be interesting to see if this fight does end up um end up occurring but I do think that we're going to see Maria Agapova. Just use some kickboxing, keep the fight on the feet. I do think she's going to get the job done. Marina Morose, on the other hand, she does throw a very significant amount of um, of strikes. She lands only 30% of the strikes that she throws, but she's throw but she's she's landing four strikes. So she's la she's throwing about 12 strikes a minute. That's one strike every five seconds. On the other hand, so though Maria Agapova is landing about 53% of her strikes, but is landing about five strikes so she's landing about 10 strikes per minute as well so these girls are a very heavy volume strikers i do think we're going to see a very exciting striking match uh, take place on the feet i'm going agapova by decision most likely but there's definitely a chance that she's going to get the finish as well maybe she hurts um morose and is able to get the job done there but i'm going to go maria agapova um definitely not a fight that i would be putting money on definitely not a fight that i'll be putting in a parlay and um, not a fight that I've got the most confident pick on. I mean, women's MMA and me, I've probably got a losing record from picking women's fights. I'm just not that great at it, guys. Unfortunately, there's something about it. I just can't get a good read. But I am going to go with Maria Agapova to win this one here.